हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू प्रैक्टिकल नंबर फाइव सो कॉन्फ़िगरिंग आईपीवी सिक्स एसीएल हियर सो दिस इज द टोपोलॉजी दे हैव गिवन नाउ हियर वी हैव टू डील विद ऑल आईपी वर्जन सिक्स एड्रेसेस सो बेसिकली यह दे हैव गिवन थ्री राउटर्स आर देयर एंड इफ यू काउंट नंबर ऑफ नेटवर्क सो मे बी देर आर फाइव डिफरेंट नेटवर्क एंड देर इज नो टेबल इज गिवन यूर ओके नॉट प्रिसाइजली सो हाउ टू सेट दिस एड्रेसेस okay how to form the network and how to uh define the routing scheme we'll be covering all the part here and then we'll begin with the actual practical so we'll set the topology we'll set the configuration details first in like i'll do it in front of you and then we'll begin with this practical so let me set up before we do that uh, of course i hope you all have the basic understanding here of the ipv6 version 6 address scheme that this this is the address network address they have given here so like uh, we'll just try to call it by number a single digit number that like this is 10 rest all the numbers in the beginning are same in all the addresses so we'll refer this network address by 10 this by 11 and this by 30 and accordingly we'll give the addresses to the router and the pc and i'll tell you how and two networks they have not defined here okay means they have not given the network addresses for this two networks which uh, between r1 r2 and r2 and r3 so we'll define the network address for them also like for this two network also and accordingly we'll configure so i'm starting this practical from the scratch okay so let me switch to cisco packet tracer here we are and uh, let me place the configuration quickly so we have got router r1 r2 and r3 quickly renaming them three we need to have serial ports also so go to physical switch it off place this module serial port module switch it on same for r2 same for r3 now we need other devices like pc on this end let me first rename it so we need yeah okay so we need how many pcs here on this end two pcs and one more we need a server on this end we need switches two switches here and one Okay, let me make the connection quickly. Now, specifically, serial connection between these routers: serial zero one zero two, serial zero one zero, and serial zero one one two, serial zero one one. Okay. So topology is ready. Now we have to configure the network. Before we do that, let me place the IP addresses, version six IP addresses, okay, for the clear understanding here. So I'll put the banner here first. Okay, I'll go here. I'll pick up this address at least to copy paste. So, so this is the address only they have given for the server. So I'll just minimize. I'll utilize this address only. So I'll take the banner here. I'll place it, and here the network address was. I'll make the correction. Here the network address was ten. Copy one more time. Banner we want here. Here I'll copy it, and here the network address like ends with eleven. Then now uh, here ends with thirty. What they have asked for. Okay. Two more networks are there. Between R1, R2, and R2 and R3, let's define those network also. So specifically, if 10, 11 are gone, let's take a simple approach. Let's define this as a 20. And remember that this is 20. This one is 20. And one more on the right hand side for this between R2 and R3. Uh, this is 25. Let's take 25. so network addresses we have just decided okay so there were five networks between three routers 
so 10 11 20 25 and 30 okay now accordingly we have to configure and give the ip addresses so let me pick the first network here okay and let me rename this pc also first like this is pc uh this has to be pc2 basically this is pc2 this is pc1 and this is server 3 what they have asked in the practical okay done so let me configure this first network okay which starts from 10 okay so let me go to the router r1 how to do that how to configure this network pay attention uh, go to cli say no enable uh, change the host name to router r1 okay coming here get yourself into configuration terminal mode now here we have to fire the command called ipv6 unicast this is a way these are the commands which will enable the ipv6 services on this router so ipv6 unicast routing then we have to go to that interface okay uh, i hope you all can see this is the first network the interface i'll just place the mouse for you all to understand the interface is gigabit ethernet 01 so i'll switch back here i'll mention the interface int is g 0/1 enter okay here you have to fire ipv6 enable okay so only once you have to fire this command ipv6 unicast routing on every router only once okay and uh, for every interface you have to fire this command ipv6 enable okay enter and then fire no shut to restart and now you can configure the ip address that is ipv6 address here we will not get the wizard or text boxes gui we have to configure them through cli only so ipv6 address and i'll just copy paste properly this time okay yeah so i remember the first network we have got have the 10 10 is like i'm representing the address with the 10 so after 10 as we used to do you know for the ipv4 addressing scheme similarly i'll follow the same approach i'll give the one the number one address after network address one address to the router and slash 64 that's it and then click there's no subnet mask network mask is here slash 64 you have just mentioned just click enter so you just have set the ip address for the router interface gigabit 01 okay i'll close this okay let me close this or i can like let me say end i'll come outside i'll close this so you can see the now the lights like a green let me go to the pc1 now i have to assign the ip address to pc1 so go to desktop go to ip configuration now we'll not go here in ip address we'll go here in ipv6 configuration here i'll again copy paste the address okay remove the 64 uh, one was given to the router i'll give it two i'll mention the 64 here and uh, default gateway like we used to do in ipv4 we just have to mention the ip address of the router which was one in our case okay so kindly pause the video for a while carefully look the details i have filled here two is given to this pc1 one was given to the router so that's why i have just mentioned the gateway address for the same and uh, let me we are done we are, if let me close it so this network has been configured this network has been configured so if i click on pc1 if i go to command prompt if i try to ping the router from here right click paste the ip address of the router which was 10 colon colon 1 enter you will see that we are getting the reply that means connection has been established okay now similarly we have to do it for r1 for this interface okay and for this interface also now you all know the ip addresses are here is 11 here is 20 okay so let me do it for r1 and i'll rest i'll leave it other networks to configure by you so i'll not show all those things so let me just cover r1 first so let me go r1 let me go to the r1 first and uh, configuration terminal okay we are here then 
we have to choose the interface now now in our case the second network interface belongs to g gigabit ethernet 0/0 slash zero. enter okay now we are in configuration interface mode so what we have to do we have to give the first thing what we have to do is like this we have to enable the ipv6 service ipv6 enable no shut and then allocate the address ipv6 address right click paste now here in this case it should be not 10 it should be 11 okay and the one will be the number the address i'll be allocating to this router on this interface enter and we are done end see so now let's go to pc2 complete the part desktop ip configuration copy pasting it uh, making sure that it is has to be 11 and giving the ip address 2 mentioning 64 here pasting it here and this has to be 1 okay for 11 and then close so this network has also been configured now okay similarly we'll do it for this r3 now on this side let me do it once again so that we should get expert in it so let me go to r3 now i'm going to r3 for the first time so for that main that means we have to enable the ipv6 service first so for that let me go to r3 go to cli enable it and uh, let me just change the name host name of it like this r3 yeah coming back here uh, so first thing first like this i have to say ipv6 unicast hyphen routing okay then we have to switch to the interface interface is g gigabit on the right hand side interface this thing this interface is gigabit zero zero in our case so g uh, zero zero interface enter and then ipv6 enable the service then say no shut and now allocate the address ipv6 address uh, has to be i'm just copy pasting the same address i'll just make the changes in it 30 and one will be given to the router okay 30 and one great we are done with this i'll say end we are out okay let me close this go to server specifically in the practical they have asked like we have to give the ip address 30 to this network address was also 30 but instead of giving it two like one was given to the router we'll give it to 30 here because here also you can see in the table they have just have mentioned like 30 colon colon not two 30 they are asking fine no problem we'll go to the desktop we'll go to the ip configuration we'll just copy paste it i'll make sure it has to be 30 only network also was 30 this is 64 i'll just copy this and then paste it and i'll just make the changes one that was the default gateway so they are saying invalid ipv6 gateway, gateway entered okay i'll just click okay because one colon got removed there has to be two col two double colons okay and we're done okay close and this network is now also configured now similarly we have to configure this two networks also okay so i'll do this and you all can then pause the video and complete this part also so let me complete r1 and r2 let me go to r1 the interface is serial 010 getting myself into configuration mode serial interface sorry int se 0 slash 1 slash 0 we have to enable the service first ipv6 enable no shut now we have to give the ip address so the address was allocated was 20 so i'll give it this interface as 1 and this interface as 2 ipv6 address right click paste make the changes 
ट्वेंटी इट इज वन स्लैश सिक्सटी फोर एंटर एंड इफ यू प्लेस द माउस यू विल सी गीगा बेड इथरनेट इंटरफेसेस आर अप बट सेल सीरियल जीरो वन जीरो इज डाउन बिकॉज दिस इंटरफेस हैव नॉट बीन सेल कॉन्फिगर्ड सो लेट्स गो टू द आर टू आई प्लेस द माउस या इट इज ऑल्सो सीरियल जीरो वन जीरो ओनली लेट्स गो टू आर टू गो टू सी एल आई से नो इनेबल आई एम चेंजिंग द नेम ऑफ द राउटर होस्ट नेम दैट इज आर टू ओनली या आई एम कमिंग बैक ह्योर सो आई एम आई एम ह्योर ऑन द राउटर आर टू फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सो फर्स्ट थिंग वी हैव टू डू इज लाइक वी हैव टू इनेबल द आई पी वी सिक्स सर्विस ह्योर सो आई पी वी सिक्स यूनिकास हाईफन राउटिंग ओके एंटर नाउ लेट्स स्विच टू इंटरफेस इंटरफेस एस ई जीरो स्लैश वन स्लैश जीरो आई पी वी सिक्स इनेबल नेक्स्ट इज गिव द आई पी वी सिक्स एड्रेस आई पी वी सिक्स एड्रेस right click paste it and i'll make the changes here it was 20 one was given to that router number r1 to that interface i'll give it two here give two here okay and i'll say slash 64 and then enter okay i forgot one thing that this no shut and if i now come here back if i say end here if i close you can see the connection has been established okay similarly we have to do it for this part also okay so this is how we have to set up the network first this was part 1 in the part 2 i'll show you how to set up the static routing policy that's all guys from this video if you really like this video press like button and do subscribe to our channel any queries or suggestions do comment below for more such update follow us on instagram and facebook